We have people who have been extremely shocked that JK has put in his resignation to his company. We have the staff removing JK from Weverse, and then we have JK getting some backlash over the ongoing Israel premiere. So hey, down links, it's Dave Desai. Let's get into it. So there are some images that have been floating around in Israel, of course, there is a war going on, so there's going to be some pretty bloody and graphic images. But I have seen underneath these images, people specifically tagging Big Hit and saying to cancel the premiere. Now, if you're not completely aware of what this controversy is and why people are tagging Big Hit, well, the reason why is because there is a premiere going on with JK's documentary called I Am Still. And there are still apparently airing it in Israel and people are not okay with this because of the backlash that has been going on over there and than the bad stuff that's been going on over there. People go as far as to say that it must mean that the label endorses these things because they are still continuously choosing to air the movie or the documentary over there. Now, it's perfectly okay to have an opinion and a political opinion about where you want a movie aired or not. But underneath some of these posts that are just documenting the horrible things that are happening over there and just showing these graphic pictures, which cannot be shown here, but some of these children are missing head. Armies are then tagging Big Hit and then trying to get them to cancel the documentary over there, like within the same thread right under those pictures. And I don't really know if I have to explain how this is very not tasteful and very stupid because at the end of the day, a documentary airing anywhere is still just a documentary that is fun and it's not supposed to be anything serious. It's not a documentary about murder. It's and not, not a documentary about what's going on over there. It's a documentary about music. And so at the end of the day, a, a label choosing to air entertainment in any part of the world is not a big of a deal or as serious as what's going on in these pictures. Imagine the parents of some of these child victims looking at what's happening online and seeing this, only to see so many comments of people tagging a, an entertainment label, asking them not to air a documentary. Not, oh my God, condolences to this kid. Not, oh my God, I'm so sad right now. Not any of that stuff, but people tagging a label to not air a documentary. And they do it as if these posts were specifically made to attack the label, when these posts were made specifically just to raise awareness about what's going on over there. When I say some of these people literally need to go out and touch grass or not be so sheltered, I genuinely do mean that. Because to go on a post about death and post something like this, it is so beyond not tasteful. It's honestly so disgusting. I'm sure if these things were to happen to them, like for example, if one of their relatives were to pass away, but then all the comments are tagging new genes or something, they would realize that this was not tasteful and this was really upsetting but they think it's totally fine to do it with BTS because that's their favorite. Everyone else must love them too, right? Or everyone else must really care about BTS in moments of severe tragedy. This is something that I've learned, which is that something that I enjoy, other people do not have to enjoy. I will not force them to enjoy it. Another way they could have done this was take those images, save it, and then post it in a group chat that maybe is upset with the documentary airing in Israel. But instead of doing that, they're actually tagging the label and writing a whole paragraph under the posts, which is so messed up. Because I guarantee you most people who do have a life and don't really care about these sorts of things like where a documentary is airing, they probably have no idea what this is even referencing and they're just going to ignore it. So it's not like by posting this publicly is raising awareness. Most people won't care. Now, of course, we have to move on to something a little less serious, but there has been people talking about the documentary and people thinking that there might be some new spoilers or information that has come out on Weverse. There were some people who were supposed to be getting some new information about the documentary, so it was allegedly announced that the staff was supposed to make an announcement about this documentary. Now, they ended up posting something that was supposed to be the teaser for the documentary, and they wrote this like little paragraph talking about it and whatever. And as for the actual content, it ended up being in Hypen's new light stick. People thought this was funny. And of course, the staff did end up deleting this right away and they reinstated it with the correct picture. However, a lot of Hypen fans were not excited because this was supposed to be something that was not released yet or something that wasn't public. So they ended up getting a sneak peek and maybe they didn't want that spoiler. Now, I do believe they currently have a light stick it really wasn't the first time ever, but probably this was like a new design. I think that that's so cool. I think it's always awesome to reinvent the designs and things that the community is familiar with and just like slightly tweak it to make it something new and fun. It's also a great way to make new money because when you announce something new and you launch something new, people want to get it. They think it's cool and there's just a peak in sales. 
I hope they do this with other groups and I hope it becomes a regular thing where a new season they can release new things. Like it's always cool to maybe have new spring releases of a light stick or any group versus the winter one. But maybe then have all the sticks be able to work at a concert no matter which season you get. And I'm sure people would love that. It could be like a collector item thing. So if anyone from the label is watching this, I hope you decide to make some new light sticks. Fans are also very excited as it wasn't just that they apparently were also getting a new stick. Fans were also very excited. I'm so glad that the labels are working on different merch. It's also very cool to see what other merch they're creating because this also opens doors for BTS and JK and whatever because if they have the resources resources to make these really intricate products and these like really high quality products they'll be able to do it with all the artists so I was definitely seeing some people who were upset that this wasn't BTS and that BTS wasn't getting anything new but when the BTS members come back from the military we can definitely expect that they can get some of these types of products and put it out and sell it because now the label has the resources to create this I'm sure you'll notice sometimes after one member makes an appearance on an American TV show suddenly all of the other members will make that same appearance it's because the label now has the contacts to that TV show so they can call to get other artists on there. Same goes for things like merch and other business ventures. Now something that recently shocked people was the fact that JK has apparently put in a resignation for his company. Now if you're unfamiliar he and his brother actually started a company called Graffiti on the Mind I think. And this was pretty big company between them. I believe at one point JK was the creative director and he was wearing some of the clothes on his social media. I won't get into the controversy too much, but there was a little bit of a controversy because JK was wearing the shirt on social media without disclosing that it was from his own brand. And this led people to say, is this something that should be disclosed? So it went right up to the FTC and they basically said that JK did not have to disclose because this was something that he was just wearing on his own personal time and he wasn't trying to advertise it. Hence why there was no real link to it. There was nothing like that. And this is something that is quite scary because something that could be as innocent as just wearing your own clothes can then be used against you to say you broke the law, which is just such an odd thing that something like that can even be said. But it's believed that he has officially signed his resignation to leave the company. And I don't know if he is going to be involved in any capacity, if he's completely given it over to his brother, his brother is giving it to someone else, I don't know. A lot of that information is not disclosed because it's not a public company. But I think it's extremely smart for JK to do this. And I think it's extremely smart for any of the BTS members or any idols in general to create a business outside of being an idol. JK has so many contacts and I believe at one point Lisa even ended up modeling for it so it really just shows how many contacts JK has and maybe he was able to call some of his possible friends to get them to model the clothes. The best thing that you can do as a K-pop star is kind of eventually collect these contacts and these phone numbers and emails and then when you do a launch of your own business be able to reach out to any of those people and try to get them to help you whether that is investing money whether that is using their clout or whether that is just simply just sending over the clothes and just them wearing it and posting it. Like JK would never have to work again even if he didn't start his business. He probably just wants to do it just to see how far it'll grow. But it's definitely interesting to hear that maybe he has decided to resign or whatever it is. Now of course again as I said I don't believe this is a public company so the fact that he could have resigned or maybe considering it that is definitely something that is not proven and it's not a fact 100% because there's no way to know. However, I hope he sets another business endeavor that is fully his and he does not ever step down from it if he doesn't want to. And it could be something that he completely owns that's not like half him and half his brother. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks, just leave a comment right here. Love you. Bye.